So we're in your uh, geometry and we're on quiz 39. And so we're gonna finish quiz 39 and then we're gonna go on to doing some of your construction, or we'll do the, we're gonna do the, start working on the test nine and we're gonna leave all the constructions to last so you can get out your compasses at the end. So, so let's go on to 39. Okay, one rectangle has a base of 12 inches and an altitude of six um, inches. These are gonna all be easy. I'm telling you why, because you know the formulas of these. So they look like problems, or a lot of these problems you could do in sixth and seventh grade. So let's get, it, let's get these out, because these are, these are not hard. So one rectangle has the base of 12 inches and the altitude of six inches. The other has the base of, of 10 inches and of five inches. What is the ratio of the first rec rectangle to the second? So you have basically um, the rectangle, the first rectangle to the second rectangle. So I'm labeling it R, R to R2. The base times the height of the first one to the base times the height of the second one. So we have 12 times six equals 72. 12 times six equals 72, that's the first rectangle. And 10 times five equals 50. So the ratio is gonna be 72 to 50. Although you can reduce it by dividing it by two. So if I divide 72 by two, I get 36. And I divide 50 by two and I get 25. So I can't really reduce it any further there. So basically um, my now, what is my ratio gonna be? 36 to 25. 36 to 25 is our answer. Okay, that was not too hard. Just putting the ratio together. You know, 12, to 12 times six is a 72 and 10 and then that ratio and dividing it um, 72 by 50 and reducing it to 36 to 25. What is the area of the first rectangle in this number up here to the second? Hmm. So our, the first rectangle, what is the area of the first rectangle, okay? First rectangle was what? 12 times six. Well, a rectangle is equals base times height. So 12 times six equals 72. It's 72 inches, because we're going by inches. Is 12 times that base times height, you know, is gonna be base times height of a rectangle is gonna be 72. So 12 times six is 72, an easy question. Go on to the next one. Find the area of a triangle that has a base of six inches and an altitude of eight inches. Altitude and height are the same thing. So here is our formula we use. Triangle equals one half times base times half, height, which the height is the altitude. So one half times six times eight. So one half, I put one half, six times eight. Six times eight is 48, so one half of 48. You divide 48 by two and you're gonna get 24 square inches. Yeah, that's an easy one. We're on a roll, huh? <laughs> so this looked like a, hard at first, it's getting easier. So a trapezoid has a base of 10 inches. I always draw pictures too, go ahead and draw your pictures. I don't know how you can do anything without drawing pictures. So here, here was this triangle I had on this other one here. So 10 inches, an altitude of six inches, and an area of 51 square inches. So here's a trapezoid. So the altitude is six, and the one of the, and the base, one of the base there, there's two bases, both these sides are bases, is 10. So what do they want? They wanna find the length of the other base. So what's the other base? Well, how do we do that? Well, let's look here. Hopefully you can read my writing here. So you're going to have, um, basically, uh, basically the trapezoid is one half height times base times the other base, right? This is our equation. Should I write it out better? Let me write it out better. I wish I would have wrote it a little bit better so you could see it. So here's the, it's gonna be, here's the trapezoid equal one half height times base one times base two, okay? That's what we need to do. And then we plug it in. One half height times base one times base two. Okay, let's look and see. Here we have, uh, basically um, the area is going to be 51. So we put in the trapezoid 51 equal one half, what's the height, six? We put in six, one half six. 
and one of the bases is 10, so base plus 10. So we wanna find this base here. See how I did that? And so now you have 51 equals, and then one half of six is three, and we have um, basically three times B, and three times 10 is 30. So this is what equation I have that now is 51 equals 3B <laughs> plus 30. And so in the midst of this, we want to um, uh, have 3B times 30. You're gonna subtract 30 from 51 and you get 21. Get rid of that 30 equals 3B. And so um, your B is going to equal seven, seven inches. I wish I didn't do that so small because I don't, don't see if you can see that. They don't give you much room, do they? Um, let's write it over here so you can see it better because I don't want you to not understand this. It's not hard. So we have, here's our, our formula. I uh, hope you can see me on here. There we go. One half height times base one plus base two. So basically we fill that in. The area is gonna be 51, what is it, square inches? So it's 51 equals one half, and our height was um, six. Our height was six, so instead of an H we put six. And our bases, one was 10, and the other one we, want, we didn't know, and that's what they want us to figure out. So the one base was 10, well what is the other base? Okay, let's find out. So that's what I did. It's 51 equals one half of six is three times 10 plus B, right? Because we're gonna find that. And so we have 51 equals, and three times 10 is 30. And we have to go to, to there and then plus three B, okay? So now we subtract that 30 over here because here we have 30 and 51. We subtract that and we get um, 51 minus 30 <laughs> is going to be, um, what, 21. So 21 equals 3B. Now you're gonna divide this by three and this by three and you get B is going to equal seven. Okay, and that's our answer, seven inches. Okay, so anyway, I wanted to do that because I, I scrunched it all in there and it's not very hard. Okay. Now let's go on to the next one. Dropping things on the floor here. So a parallelogram. A parallelogram has an altitude of eight inches and an area of 48 square inches. Find the length of his base. So here's, here's our formula. Parallelogram, which is PL, that's how they call it. You could put just P, but you put PL because if you have a P, it looks like perimeter. So PL equals base times height, pretty easy. So we have here 48 square. So 48 is our, our square area, but we wanna, we wanna find out what the, um, the base is. So we have the height here, which is eight, we wanna know what that base is. So we just have the height. So the height is going to be, um, it's going to be eight. So it's gonna be 48 equal B, B times eight. So 48 divided by eight, B is gonna equal, because uh, B, is, B is eight, so B is gonna equal six. So this is six inches, okay? That one's pretty easy. Let's go on to the next one, which shouldn't be too hard. Got it all focused in in here. So we have a right triangle has a hypotenuse. Right triangle has a hypotenuse of 13 inches and a leg of five inches. Find the area of the right triangle. So here we have our Pythagorean theorem. So we have uh, C squared is gonna equal A squared plus B squared, or A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So um, <clears throat> we're gonna have to um, do that basically to find out, you know, we wanna find the area but to find the to find the area, we have we have to and plugging these in. We first, you know, first before you use this Pythagorean theorem, let's put down we have a triangle. So here's a triangle. So a triangle, remember, equals one half times base times height. 
okay? So, and we drew the triangle here, bingo. And we have 13, we have 13 and five, right? They, they give us that, it gives us 13 and five inches. And we wanna find the area, but first we have to find of this triangle what this number is, this 12. This actually is a special triangle. Remember what it says when you have a special Pythagorean triangle? So it's, it's going to be, if we had this memorized, it'd be very easy. So the first thing we have to do is find out all these sides, right? So we can, you know, fill this in. So that's when I went over here. The Pythagorean theorem to find this last side, okay? Right there. So here's the Pythagorean theorem. So I put in, so 13 square equal a square plus five square. And so then we do, um, basically I turn this basic, um, 13 square is what? On your, if you do it on your calculator, 13 square is 169. And then you have, um, basically have 25 square. This is gonna be 25. So now you know a square is gonna equal 169 minus 25. What is that? 144. What's 144 square, uh, square root of it? It's gonna be 12. So this is 12. So we know, they gave you this because they wanted you to memorize that, but because they had it in your book. So anyway, so basically a is gonna equal 12. So this side here, as you wrote right here, the triangle, this little side here is going to be 12. So now we have, you know, this side's 12, this side's 13, and this side's 5. And it's the Pythagorean theorem that we got that 12. But if you had it memorized, you would know <laughs> that when you have, um, when you have, um, whenever you have 12 and 13 and 5, they're, they're going to make a perfect Pythagorean theorem without any square roots, huh? So now let's plug it in. So we have 1 half times base times ha um, height. And so... We're going to have one half base times heights would be five times twelve. So one half five times twelve. Can you see that? And then you're going to have um, twelve equals one half five times twelve is sixty. So you can take one half of sixty is going to be thirty. So it's going to be um, thirty square inches. So um, we wanted to find the area. It's going to be what? Thirty square inches. First, we had to find all three of those sides, which if we had to memorize, we'd know right away that's 12, and we could plug it in. But I had to figure it out there on A square, B square, and we found out it's 12, 144 is gonna be 12. And so, plugged it in, one half um, base times heights would be um, five times 12 is 60, one half 60 is 30 square inches, okay? So here's a parallelogram, has the base and altitude that have a ratio of four to three. Let's do it in another color here, because I just did that one here. So we have a ratio of four to three. If the area is 108 square inches, what is the measure of the base? So now, what do we have? A parallelogram. A parallelogram is what? Here's our formula right here. Move it over so you can see it. PL equals base times height. Pretty easy, right? So now we have, um, we know that the base is gonna be four X, because it's four times, uh, and the height is going to be 3x, okay? We know that. So now we know 108, the ratio is going to be 4x to 3x. The x has to be the same number. So um, so we ended up, you know, taking this, we're, we're working this out. <laughs> and so we have um, 4x and 3x, uh, um, and you, you end up 4x, 4 times 3 is 12. So if you say 4x times 3x, it's going to be, 12x squared, right? And so 108, you're going to get rid of that 12. And 108 divided by 12, use your calculator and you'll get 9. So 9 equals x squared. So what is the square root of 9? 3! So of course it's going to be plus or minus 3 because a square root could be negative or positive. So it's going to be 3. So we have that. So now what did we find? So the, the parallelogram has the base and altitude. They have a ratio of four to three. If the area is 108 squared, what is the measure of the base? So now we know um, we know the x is, is going to be three. So one of the bases, or uh, the base and the height, the base is three and the height, or the base is four and the height is three. 
So we're gonna fill on. So now we can fill in four times three, right? Is going to be four times three, because here it is, four times it, four times three equal 12. So, and then the height is gonna be three times three equal nine. So, we're looking for, they wanna know what's the measure of the base. So here we have the parallelogram like this. So this is three times, this is four times, and we know it's three times, the, the answer is three. So three times three is going to be, what? It's three times three is gonna be nine, so the height's gonna be nine, but they wanna know what the base. The base is gonna be four times three is gonna be 12. So our answer is gonna be 12 inches. So we're looking for that base, 12 inches, okay? These are not hard, a little bit, because you're doing with the Pythagorean theorem, which ends up with some kind of square roots there, so. So I hope you have all that. So that is quiz 39. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and stop and do the test on one video so we don't get it messed up. And then we're gonna go on to the constructions and, um, of the quizzes and the tests. So.